Hey everyone, Graceful here, the third new addition to IG's Apex roster, and today I'm here to make a weapon tier list, so let's just dive straight into it. Um, I think we'll just get the easy ones out of the way first, we'll just go straight from top to bottom, so let's just go Kraber, S tier. You're goddamn right. Even though the nerf happened, it's still not enough of a nerf, and I think they nerfed it the wrong way, it's still like tier weapon sadly if anybody picks that up one body shot can win you a fight it's insanely strong right <laughs> wingman i think is still an esther weapon um even though it changed got changed to sniper ammo you still only need to run three stacks to run it it's super ammo efficient if you hit headshots it's beyond strong that's also why you see me practicing this weapon currently um it's insanely good also uh, we thought that sniper ammo would be scarce but it's not at all, so it's super easy to find ammo for this weapon as well. Scout, obviously S tier. Um, I still don't believe, I cannot believe, I can't believe that they didn't nerf it hard enough. Um, the fire rate is too strong, damage per bullet is insanely strong, you hit like 50s with headshots. Um, the fire rate is so fast, you have 2-4 on it, even 3x. It's just an overall super solid weapon. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it! Um, Carbine, I would say this is one of my only weapons that's going to be um, as an AR in S tier. I think it's super easy to use. Uh, light ammo is super easy to find. It is also insanely uh, consistent, even close range and mid and long range. Like, I think Carbine is old flatline in terms of um how good it is i would say old flatline in my opinion was better than carbide but currently carbide is better than flatline well 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 look what the cat dragged in um let's move down to a tier i think eva i would kind of move eva up to s tier but i feel like it kind of reduces how rare or how strong these weapons are then um eva is for sure the go-to close weapon especially when you're sliding on top of people which is this current meta with Zero Horizon Valk. 90% of the time you engage with going up, uh, yeah, you either get damage from long range and then you cancel with the Seer or you just go up a Horizon queue and you slide on somebody's head. Eva is the go-to melee weapon, um, close range weapon for the cleanup. Like Eva is just so uh, viable in every scenario. You don't like you can play Eva in every game essentially. This is a standard U.S. Army issued rifle. The flatline. Uh, I would say flatline here would be my old S tier weapon is now A tier since the nerf because they nerfed the amount of damage per bullet it does <clears throat> but it's still the same thing though I think it's the second it should like the only reason it's not in S tier is because I think carbine is a little bit better and I don't want to put both of them up there um flatline is actually really 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 strong still like I still play flatline every game that I don't get wingman essentially uh, where, I, where I stack carbine um good close range good mid range good long range super adaptable to every scenario overall solid weapon i would take a uh, carbine over flatline uh, when you when if, if it's more stacked but if you have a better mag on flatline i i, I pick up flatline so yeah it's just a solid weapon overall really so th this is the actual order it goes from left to right as well so let's just pick here for now I feel no weapon in apex but that bolt I, I, I will say though later on when we go for the energy weapons that energy weapons are stronger than their counterparts like let's just say even carbine and flatline if you get it fully stacked and you have a lot of ammo but it's a lot of orange involved into it finding a uh, energy mag is more rare than heavy and light especially if you run car or carbine or flatline uh, there's more weapon spawns right for the for the heavy light weapon so energy weapons typically is stronger but it's more RNG based if you actually get it fully stacked and not, let's not even count ammo into that fact, right? Okay. Do you wanna play rough? Okay. Oh, no. Say hello to my little friend! Um, I think that the buff for L-Star is absolutely in a good spot. I like L-Star right now a lot. I think people haven't been practicing in it enough to um, decide where it goes, but I think it's an a -tier. Um, I'm an LSR enthusiast right now, and, and I'm not just talking about when the uh, 
when the pellets were humongous, which the pellets are still hella big, right? And it still blinds you when you're shooting it. But uh, it's super easy to control. It feels like Elstar has zero recoil currently, which is what makes it insanely strong. I would say if you're struggling with recoil on any other weapons, then you should try picking up Elstar. It's really good. <laughs> hey, he ain't playing no games. What is that? What is that? Wait. 30 30 Peter, I think people, some people <laughs> rate it as S. I, I don't think it's quite as Scout yet. It is insanely good, but Scout is more versatile on every range. Um, it's more consistent because it has fire, a uh, higher fire rate. Sure, if you only hit headshots on Peter, it's super strong, but like Scout is just gonna be better in the 90% of the scenarios. Um, the only time where Peter is way better than Scout is ammo efficiency. If we go based off of everything, Scout is still ahead of Peter, so I will put it in A because we don't want to put every weapon in S. Right? But it's solid, it's, it's really good. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Uh, I put, I'll put both of these at the same time, Devotion and Havoc, um, I think both of them, fully equipped, goes past all of these weapons, even EVA, Devotion Close Range, and uh, I, I say Devotion Close Range is better than EVA, Havoc is also really strong Close Range, but I, I don't know if EVA or Havoc wins that out, actually, depends on the scenario, like if you're fighting in a bubble or if you're just spraying someone, uh, but I think fully equipped Devotion, I would almost put in S tier, the only B, uh, the only thing that's obviously locking it down into A is, once again, the fact that it's an energy weapon. You gotta find a turbo now, which is even harder on these two weapons. You gotta find a turbo, you gotta find a mag, you don't really need a barrel on it, but like, and, and you need a sight on, on Devotion specifically, you don't need a sight on Havoc. It's too much things to look for. Um, if you find it on somebody's body and they have like 200 ammo plus, you pick that bad boy up every time. But if they have like 100 bullets, you, you don't pick it up over like a stat flat with like 250 bullets, 240 bullets, 300 bullets, right? So, yeah, once again, conditional. Volt, Devotion, and Elstar is the only one. I would actually put Elstar ahead here. I think Volt is better than Elstar, but like, even after the nerf. But I think Elstar is good off pickup. You don't need anything. It's just solid immediately. Whereas like these weapons, is super conditional. Um, and that's why they're in A tier. <laughs> Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Let's move on to snipers now. Charge rifle. I think. Oh wait. I think charge rifle is also here. Here. I think charge rifle is the best sniper. Um, you only need a sight. That's it. You don't need anything. It's insanely good long range. It's the best weapon on absolute long range. Even though the fall off um uh, hurts it a little bit, it doesn't really matter. You still farm damage off of it. Like all of a sudden, I'd be trying to prove. That I'm not crazy when I knew I wasn't crazy. Right. Um, um, I think Bocek comes in between of these two. Um, it being a Bocek is insanely good. Don't get me wrong; it's really, really, really strong. Um, I do think that the amount of ammo it has right now is a little bit too low to make it consistent. Like, let's just take as an example: you pick up a Kraber off off the crate, you can run 12 shots Kraber plus four the entire game. I don't feel like you can run Bocek as primary the entire game, but if you play Bocek plus another weapon, like a, let's just say a controller player, and you play Bocek Car, Bocek Carbine, Bocek Flatline, then you can run Bocek with any with with ease. I don't personally think that you run Bocek over Wingman as primary simply because of the fact that you can't run it the entire game. You can't poke with it the entire game and then still have it for end game. Yeah, I think alternator should be in B there because it's just a solid. Hang on, hang on, hang on, bro. There's no way you're putting the alternator in B tier. That gun is so consistent. And also, also, Grace, let's not forget, there's going to be a... Yoshi! That, might or, ...that may or may not be released that's going to give the alternator a 20% accuracy increase. So you've got to factor that in, bro. So it's getting a huge buff with this... <laughs> All right, I might, I might have to put it in the S tier then. I think that's that's where it counts, then. That's what I want to hear, bro. My work here is done. <laughs> All right, see you again. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Rampage. Um, I think Rampage is super solid since the buff. Thermite no longer runs out if we're talking about live build, but since we're playing Pro League, we don't have the live build yet. Competitively, currently, I think it's in B tier. Um, on live build, you could argue to move it up into A tier. I still think it's... If you don't have any Thermites, it's shit. Um, I, I'm not really shit, but like I would maybe put it down to C tier if you don't have any Thermites at all. It's okay, like, it's okay, but I would probably pick a stack flatline carbine scout, wingman, anything over it. I think it belongs in B tier. 
Um, yeah, right after Alternator, I think Alternator is the best beat the weapon, not gonna lie. Shotgun! Alright, let's just move here to Shotguns now. PK, I think PK... I'll move this up at the same time. PK Massive are both less good than EVA. Because, once again, conditional. They are stronger in fights like bubble fights, in house fights, door fights, uh, jiggle peek fights when you're jiggle peeking a rock or a wall or something. Uh, but when we talk to full sending, EVA is way better. You could full send on these two too, but they're not really consistent in that way. Uh, I think triple take comes after, after the buff. Triple take is super solid now. Uh, once again, energy weapon, don't really... Oh, uh, don't, don't, don't really like... Um, yeah, I said energy. I, I meant like, I don't really like the fact that it's charge up time. And it's not charge up the same way as charge rifle. Charge rifle is like you're, 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 which like you're tracking all the time, but triple take is like you, you have to choke it. Oh, kinky! <laughs> and I still feel like it's just less valuable overall than than the other snipers in the game. Sentinel, I think, is the weakest of D3 snipers currently. Uh, don't get me wrong, Sentinel of spawn and you're, and you're fighting triple white armor is god tier. But uh, I, I, I think though, Sentinel is better because it's ammo efficient comparatively to the other ones. So like in competitive, I think Sentinel is strong as hell. New stop, you can't just put a select fire on the Prowler. The R99 is superior. Haha, <laughs> Prowler go B R R R R R R R R R R R. Big bad boy Prowler. I think Prowler is one of the weapons that is still super strong on controller. I don't see many mouse and keyboard users use it. I have my moments with it where I literally just like two, three burst people. But I think it's just inconsistent with the car in the game. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's hard to say. I, I wouldn't even... Personally, I wouldn't want to put it in C because I don't use it. But I feel like that's a bad reason to put it in C. I think it is still viable. Like I think every weapon except P20 pretty much is viable. But uh, I'll, I'll put it here for now. RE45 is now a crate weapon. I haven't used it enough to know how good it is. I feel like I've had moments where I run into people and you just get shredded by the RE45. And it does do a lot of damage with the Disruptor now. But I feel like it's for a crate weapon, it's kind of underwhelming, no? I'll put this in P3 because I feel like it belongs in P3. Maybe I'm just biased since it used to be shitter weapon, right? <laughs> uh, R9, I think Alternator is the better R9 right now, not gonna lie. R9 is still like okay-ish, but you just need to hit so many shots comparatively to other weapons. And I feel like it lacks range as well. Whereas like, Alternator, you can actually play mid to long range even, I would say. It's so easy to control, but I feel like unless you're just one magging everyone, there's better options, especially car counterparts, right? Car, car, car is gonna be S there as well, but uh, I don't see car here. I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. Um, let's move down to C tier. Uh, personally, I think Mozambique could be B tier, but that's because I'm a Mozambique enthusiast. I think Mozambique can be here though, um, because the other shotguns are layered down as well. Mozambique is super solid overall. Off spawn is really good in my opinion. Obviously, you don't keep it for mid and late game because then you pick up other shotguns but it's just a solid ground weapon that you spawn with um it's never fun to like run into somebody that has a wingman and you you know you, you spawn on a mozambique i think this is good how a weapon should be off spawn it's completely fine hemlock i don't really like that much spitfire i don't like at all um has its uses in the scenarios where people whiff their shots and you have an entire mag to dump on someone but like once again other weapons are just way better in my opinion and then the last one being p20 nobody missed this bad boy <laughs> Uh, it doesn't even have hammer point. It's just it's just a complete shit weapon on the ground again. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. P20 is just shit. So this has to be my... I would say this is my tier list. You could move a couple weapons up and down depending on your own preference. But I feel like this is a solid tier overall. I would, Me personally, I would kind of move alternator up to, um, to A tier because of how good it is off spawn. Um, but like... The tier list would change entirely depending on when, what part of the game you're looking at. But we're looking early game, meaning that you drop on a weapon and then you have it. All the weapons that don't need mags is insanely S tier pretty much. And then you have weapons that are like, let's just take Longbow as an example, which is like God tier if you get it decked out for late game. So like late game it shines more than early game. Um, but I think this is an overall, overall decent weapon tier list for me.
a yeah, I'll definitely say so. This is probably how I would play it every single time as well. You can even see this in my vaults. This is how I pick up weapons as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And that was my tier list. Um, I'll be going back to fragging people in ranked and now the new solo queue and then in competitive tournaments as well. And I hope I'll see you guys there, okay? So uh, until next time. Bye, everyone.